everyone, welcome to All Things Iceland. It's Jules and I'm on the beautiful streets of Reykjavik and I'm bringing you this video today that's quite special because it's about black owned businesses in Reykjavik. Actually, there's one that is out in the countryside. So in Iceland, we'll just say. <laughs> and the reason why I created this video is because when I was looking to move to Iceland or even just to visit, I was curious about what other people of color or black people lived here, as well as if they were people that were entrepreneurs integrated into the society, doing things like in a brick and mortar type of way that, you know, would make me feel and understand that people who look like myself were not only welcomed here, but literally just like adding their own flavor and paving their own way. So, that's why I decided to create this video and I hope you enjoy because all the people here are amazing and inspiring and I'm just happy to be able to showcase it along with of course all the other type of content that I normally do on this channel. But yeah, this is it's special and kind of closer to my heart in a different way than what I normally do. <laughs> so I just have to let it wave at me, which is really, really cute. So, so enjoy. This is George, the owner of the lovely Calte Bar. He's originally from Brazil, but is living in Iceland for quite a while. Calte is conveniently located downtown, is stylish, cozy, and has an amazing assortment of drinks including beer and cocktails. He's a master mixologist and makes some really delicious drinks. I highly recommend checking out. Plus, they always look so cool. In the backyard, I love that they have a mural of Einstein and Tupac hanging out and having a beer. Next up is Afrozone, owned by the amazing Patience, who's originally from Ghana and has been living in Iceland for over two decades. They have an assortment of fresh fruits, vegetables, and many different products that you might be familiar with depending on where you grew up. And I recognize some of these things from when I was in Brooklyn. They also have hair extensions and hair products for Afro textured hair. The store is located in Breidholt, which is a little bit of a drive from downtown, but totally worth it. Meet Grace, who's originally from Kenya and is the stylish owner of a sustainable, ethical, and fair trade clothing brand called Gracelandic. She runs a boutique out of her home where people can make appointments to come and try on her beautiful clothing. And she does all the designs, sketches them out, as well as creates the prototypes and then gets the small collections made. She'll actually be featuring and retailing her clothing in Habnatorg. These are just some of the samples of her clothing. Next up is Azeb, who is originally from Ethiopia and runs Minalik, which is an Ethiopian restaurant in the town of Fludir. It's about an hour and a half outside of Reykjavik with her husband and 90, over 90% 90 of the restaurant, probably like 99, is decorated with items from Ethiopia. It's like you're transformed in a totally different place. It's really beautiful and smelled amazing when I got there. I recommend making a reservation if you plan to eat here because as soon as dinner time started, it was totally packed. I started with the salad and then had the vegetarian combination platter. So delicious and I a thousand percent recommend. Also, if you're doing like the Golden Circle tour, this is a great place to stop and eat. This is Basilea, who's originally from Nigeria, and she's the owner of DJQ Beauty and Food Store in Kobovor. She has an array of different hair products. I saw Cantu in there, as well as Shea Moisture, and even a throwback to Blue Magic, which was a staple in my house growing up, and lots of different fruit products. In the back of her store, she has a hair salon where she does various different types of styles, like braiding, locks, and more. Next up is Claudia, who is originally from Jamaica and is the owner of Claudia and Partners Legal Services. And she provides legal counsel and representation across various areas of law, just to name a few of them, like family law, human rights law, and immigration. Along with practicing law, she also speaks at events and is a part-time lecturer at the University of Iceland in Reykjavik University. I love that on her wall, she has such powerful and amazing women who inspire her. Last but not least is Alice Olivia Clark, who is originally from Canada and is the owner of Tira Accessories and Designs in Hafnafjörður. This year, she's celebrating 30 years of living in Iceland. One of her signature products is hand-knit reflective accessories. So for instance, this shawl before the reflection is activated and afterwards, so keep you safe at night and she has other really cool things in the shop as well so definitely check them out 
I hope you enjoyed seeing who is featured in these black owned businesses that are brick and mortar in Iceland. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.